The issue that we face is whether or not we are going to save the United States Postal Service. The post office wants the next coronavirus recovery package to include money to keep the post office going. Postal workers are certainly upset at the prospect of the post office. Couldn't run out of money to where we're on the front lines as essential workers in dangerous and difficult times. We have an administration that actually openly says they want to privatize it. The postal service is a joke. The, the economic problems largely derive from a 2006 law called the Postal Accountability Enhancement Act. A bill to reform the postal laws of the United States. And put a burden on the post office that no other government agency and no other private business has to do, and that is to pre-fund 75 years into the future retiree health benefits. The people of the country support, according to all the polls, is some real appropriated relief from Congress. Make sure that the post office gets through this crisis and can continue to serve the people going forward. The president, uh, no problem bailing out uh, corporations, uh, but there was nothing for the postal service. If the post office did expand services, provided more financial services, more licensing, more internet access, more ATM machines, all of which would broaden the civic role of the post office in our life, but also bring some reasonable revenue without ripping people off. Responding with a fierce sense of urgency means making sure that the postal service receives the emergency funding that it desperately needs. If we could bail out large corporations, if we could provide over a trillion dollars in tax breaks to the wealthy and the powerful, please do not tell me that we cannot save and strengthen the Postal Service, an agency of huge importance to our entire economy.